Don't you think she has experience? Don't you think it is too late? Don't you think children are smart these days? Don't you think your voters are disappointed with you? Don't you think you are corrupt? Don't you think your party may lose the urban votes? Don't you think the government hospitals are in deplorable condition? Don't you think we must develop the villages? Don't you think you are ignoring the farmers? Don't you think you are wasting taxpayers money for subsidies? Don't you think I am slim now? Don't you think the weather is beautiful? Don't you think the questions are easy? Don't you think you have invested in wrong companies? Don't you think your child has overconfidence? Don't you think your son does not study well? Don't you think your children don't have discipline? Don't you think you disturb us? Don't you think your daughter comes late? Don't you think you can do it? Don't you think they are acting smart? Don't you think you are overconfident? Don't you think we are wasting time? Don't you think this is the right time to buy the shares? Don't you think you are weak? When we want to negatively confirm someone's opinion on something, we use the question, don't you think? Here we want to confirm whether the subject does not think that the matter in the sentence happens or takes place. After don't you think, we can put any type of sentence in any tense. But in this video, we are concentrating only on present tense. It is used to know someone's opinion on something. It is one of the frequently and commonly used sentences in communication. It is mostly used in uh, conversations, debates and discussions. We begin the sentence with don't you think, followed by any sentence which is in present tense and then we put other words. After you understand the concept thoroughly, keep on making as many own examples as possible so that you can use it in your communication confidently. Read the sentences loudly, clearly, repeatedly to train the tongue. Understand the situation and the sentence structure clearly. Always make own examples to improve your spontaneity and fluency. But never do grammar exercises. They don't improve our communication skills. Thank you. Keep learning English language. Have a great time.